हेलो माय नेम इज डॉक्टर गजेंद्र पुरोहित एंड यू आर वाचिंग यूट्यूब चैनल वेयर आई अपलोड वीडियोस फॉर इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स बीएससी स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एनी कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम वेयर हायर मैथमेटिक्स इज आस्क्ड देन आवर यूट्यूब चैनल इज वेरी हेल्पफुल स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ सेंट्रल डिफरेंस इन इंटरपोलेशन इन दैट द स्टर्लिंग फार्मूला इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिफोर दिस आई एक्सप्लेन यू गॉज फॉरवर्ड एंड गॉज बैकवर्ड दिस कॉन्सेप्ट कम्स फ्रॉम दैट If you haven't seen my old videos, you can go and watch them. This is the 2.0 series of numerical analysis. Before this, three years ago from now, I started my first series, which I uploaded it on the green board, and now I am re-uploading those here, including some new things. So let's get started. so listen students when we talk about central difference then here we have this x and then here we have this y right so here whatever is the center value we show it as zero minus 1 and minus 2 this comes as 1 and 2 so according to that we have y minus 2 y minus 1 and y 0 y 1 and y 2 so we assume it if you know just before this i uploaded a video on gauss forward and gauss backward see that over there as well and then what we do here we take out del y so students then this comes here del y minus 2 del y minus 1 del y 0 and del y 1 like this we have here students del square y del square y minus 2 and del square y minus 1 and del square y 0 and then here we have del cube y then this comes here we have del cube y minus 2 and del cube y minus 1 and like this it will come here del 4 y so this will be del 4 right students y minus 2 so this is the value we have after that i told you goes forward formula in goes forward what we do we go forward like this like this like this and like this if you look we have this formula a plus h u y 0 plus del i mean u del y 0 and then this comes u into u minus 1 upon 2 factorial del y del square y minus 1 and then u plus 1 u and u minus 1 upon 3 factorial then this term comes so we have this value that goes on if we talk about goes backward then what happens in goes backward is what we have here so this if you have seen this this value is there right so listen what we have here is y0 then u del y minus 1 then u into u plus 1 so when we talk about forward minus comes and when we talk about backward plus comes here right u into u plus 1 upon 2 factorial del square y minus 1 then u minus 1 u u plus 1 upon 3 factorial del cube y minus 2 and so on now from the calculation whatever answer comes for these two like i have uploaded video before almost answer is same after three digit four digit little difference comes after the point right so what does the sterling formula say add these two and then take average that will be what sterling formula now i will tell you by adding right now if you will add these two then what will we get here i will tell you by adding them right so students this will come as 2y a plus h u is equal to and we will add these two okay so this will be here 2y 0 and if we add these two then we will get u common from here right so here u will come common then here this will be del y 0 plus del y minus 1 will come so students we will add these two here right if we add these two here then what will we have here now see u is common right here we have 2 factorial so 2 is common and here del square y minus 1 is coming common right so from here we will have u minus 1 and here we will have u plus 1 right students now we will add these two here as you see from here this term is coming as what this is common we will write as u and u minus 1 into u plus 1 will come here that will be u square minus 1 upon 3 factorial students this will come here del cube y minus 1 plus del cube y minus 2 right now what we do we add them and divide it in half we take its average as soon as we do the average we divide it by 2 it will come by 2 this by 2 this will come by 2 and what we will have here this will come by 2 and this will also come by 2 here when i simplify this then what will be the formula that will come 2 by 2 will be cancelled here this will be y a plus h u is equal to y 0 so this will be u into del y 0 plus del y minus 1 upon 2 right students 1 and 1 will be cancelled it will become 2u 2u upon 2 then 2 and 2 is cancelled so u will be left so here this will come as u square upon 2 del square y minus 1 and plus and here see that this and this will come here u into u square minus 1 upon 3 factorial and students this will be del cube y minus 1 plus del cube 
y minus 2 upon 2. So, here what is this? This is the Stirling formula that I have almost told you about. So, normally what happens is first term, then the first term of these two, then their average into u, then here the value of u square by 2, here u into u square minus 1 upon 3 factorial, then their average. Now, if you ask, what is the next term of this? The next term will be u square and u square minus 1 upon. The value that will be here, it will be 4 factorial and this will be del 4. It will be y minus 2. Like this, we have this value here which keeps on going. Clear? Let's move on. We'll do some questions based on this. First question here is use Stirling formula and find y28. Where here it is given on 20, on 25, on 30, on 35 and on 40. So, the value given at 20 is this. So, here at 25 this is given, on 30 this is given, on 35 this is given and on 40 this is given. Clear and now we are being told that what will be the value of u 28 meaning the nearest value is asked. In that case whichever is closest we take it as 0. Then this will be minus 1 minus 2 and this will be 1 and 2. What we will do? Here we have y0 then what we do is when we talk about Stirling formula then these two then this then both of these. Then we take this remember what do we have here. So, a formula ultimately you might know how to make this table, how to create difference table. You remember difference between these two is here, then difference between these two is here, their difference is here, their difference is here. Then difference between the two is here, difference between the two is here, their difference is here, their difference is here, their difference is here, their difference is over there. Clear? So, like this, we make it here if we talk about its formula, what will come? Fa plus hu is equal to, it will be y0. This will be u upon 1 factorial. Here it is del y0 plus del y minus 1 upon 2 and plus here this will be u square upon 2 factorial and this will be del square. y minus 1 into here this will come as u into u square minus 1 upon 3 factorial and this will come del cube. y minus 1 del cube y minus 2 upon 2 will come right students plus here we will get this u square u square minus 1 upon 4 factorial del 4 y minus 2. So, what do we have here? It is the value. This is the formula and if you want, you can easily create a formula. So, students here, you will write it as it will be y minus 1, y minus 2 and y0, y1 and y2. Here we will have this, students it will be del y minus 2, del, del y minus 1 and del y0 and del 1, sorry, y1. Then here this will come as, so here we will get del square y minus 2 del square y minus 1 and this will be del square y 0 then we will have this del cube y minus 2 and del cube y minus here it will be 1 and here this will be del 4 y minus 2. So, like this way we can do it by putting it here clear. Here we have this value whose value we have to find you have to find the value of 28 here. So, what we have a plus h u is equal to 28 and we are assuming the base to be 30. So, the a we have it will be 30 and the h is coming 5. So, 30 plus 5u is equal to 28. 5u equal this will go over there and will be minus 2. If we divide minus 2, then it will be minus 2 upon 5. So, this will be minus 0.4, right? So, we have its value here. We will keep this value. So, students, this will be f28 is equal to y0. And what is y0 coming here? It is 472. 3, 6 and plus the value of u. This will be minus 0.4 upon 1 factorial 1 will come. Then, the average of these two, so students this value will come and then minus 1310 upon 2 plus we will have this minus 0.4 whole square upon 2 factorial which means 2 clear students and del square. So, this will be minus 230 plus students here we will have this minus 0.4 and this will be minus 0.4 whole square and minus 1 right divided by and here we will be having this as 6 and then this value will be the average of these two right. So, the average of these two what we will do pay attention I will write its average from here the value we will get for this will be minus 59 minus 80 upon 2. So, what is this here? This is the value and this will be minus of 0.4 here this is coming as minus. So, minus 0.4 will come inside and its square will come here and this will be minus 0.4. Whole square minus 1 upon 4 factorial means 24 will come. Into here we will have its value 21 and we will solve it with the help of calculator. So, you can see how will we solve this using calculator. So, how will we calculate its value here? 4, 7, 2, 3, 6 then after that plus here bracket will come minus 0.4 bracket close. 
Then we have to take the double bracket of minus 1080, then minus 1310 and bracket close. Then students divided by 2 and close the bracket and take its total and then add it. After that, there will be a bracket, then minus 0.4 square will come here. Then in case of square, we will put a cap over it. Into, here the value that we will get, it will be minus 230 and here this will be divided by 2. Then again, press the equal, then add it here. Then we have minus 0.4 and close the bracket. Then the value that we will have here, we have to put double bracket here. Minus 0.4 square is coming, right? So then I'll do cap 2. Then after that, it will be minus 1. Bracket will close. Then again here, average is coming out minus 59 and minus 80. So we have to put double brackets here. Minus 59 and minus 80. Bracket close and divided by 2. Bracket close. And then finally divide by. Here we have 6. Make it equal here. And the next value that will come, what will come in that? So students, here minus 0.4 and students here also. Square is there. So we will write it as 2. So again we need to put bracket and double bracket here, minus 0.4 square, and we will square it after closing the bracket. Minus 1 will come, and then you should close it. Into minus 21 will come here, and then divided by this will be 24. So its value will be 47691. So it means approximately this is equal to this. So like this we can do it here, so the answer will be 47692. So students, this will be our value here, so like this we can calculate it here. So, here you can see this is the answer. If you are preparing for CSIR NetGet or IIT JAM exam, then our books are available on Amazon and Flipkart. So, you can buy them. Next question is very good. And the question that is being asked is, use the Sterling formula. You have this value given and you are being asked what will be the value of 25. Let me write it down for you here. So, whenever we get a question, this is 20, this is 24, this is 38, this is 32, write down. And the corresponding value is given here, right? That what value do we need? 25. So this is closest to 24. Okay, from here, the value that we will get, what will be that? It's y0. So this will be y0, and this will become y minus 1, and this is y1, and this is y2. You must know how to create table. First, write these two, then their difference will be 8, then here the difference will be 3, this difference will be 5, then the difference will be minus 5, and the difference will be this. Next difference will be this. This is simple. If you have not seen my older videos, you can go to the i tab and watch them where Newton forward, backward. And Gauss forward and backward has been explained in a very good way right now. What will we do? This will come. So we will have del y minus 1 and this will come del y 0. This will be del y 1. This will come del square y minus 1. Del square y 0 and this one will come to us del cube y minus 1, right? This will be its value. If we talk about its formula, so the formula that we get, what is that? So we get F A plus H is equal to this will be Y0 because we know that this formula works like this. Is it clear? So this will come as Y0 plus U upon 1 factorial. This will come del Y minus 1 plus. Del Y0 divided by 2, the average of these two, right? Plus this will come as U square divided by 2 factorial. It will come as del square Y minus 1 plus. This will be U into U square minus 1 upon 3 factorial. End students, this will come as del cube y minus 2 plus del cube y minus 1 upon 2 will come. Actually, students, here we have del cube y minus 2 is not coming, so we will assume it as 0. The value which is not coming, we will assume it 0. So the value we need to find is f. a plus h u, the value we need to find will be a plus h u as we need to find f 25. Okay. So students, from here, this will come as 25, we are assuming base as 24, then A will be 24 and H will be what? 4. So this will be 24 plus 4U is equal to 25. This will come to this side. From here, we have 4U equal to 1. So 1 by 4 will come as the value of U and what is the value of 1 by 4? It is 0.25. Here, this will come as what? Tell me students, the value of U. Now let's focus on this. If we pick up this, then it will be F25 is equal to students, Y0. Y0 is 32. Plus this one here, what we will have next u, u upon 1 factorial. That is 0.25 upon 1 factorial, it will be 1 only. Now take average of these two, that is 8 plus 3 divided by 2 and plus. Next what do we have? u square by 2 factorial. That is whole square of 0.25 upon 2 factorial, which is 2. In 2, here the value that we will get, it will be minus 5, right? The next value that we will get is 0.25. And this will be whole square of 0.25 minus 1 upon 3 factorial, which means 6. 
in to end what we will have here average of two values one from this and one from this but whose value is not given we will assume it to be zero so what we have here zero plus seven by two and then we will calculate its value so value of f25 when calculated on the calculator then students it comes out to be 33.08 so this is how we can solve this so dear students this question is for the comment box and how much time was spent in solving this comment and let me know and also write the answer there if you haven't subscribed to the channel then please do it it won't take much of your time we work really hard for you if you want to watch my old numerical analysis videos then the complete playlist is available here if you are preparing for CSIR NetGate or IIT Jam and you want to practice the questions thoroughly you can check out the playlist here and subscribe to the channel here a big thank to all of you bye bye